Oh, so like, are you a hundred percent certain there's no such thing as certainty? And the room just went quiet. Like the mental gym. I think he's onto us. Going on, right. The mental gymnastics going on in the room was almost audible. Like, <laughs> yeah, because it, it's a con. It's a con, and they don't want you. Right. I, this is boy. Here's an analogy I haven't used in at least half a decade, but it's really, really important. The the man who makes counterfeit money, counterfeit bills, he knows that they're fake, but he doesn't want you to know that it's fake. He wants you to look at it as real money. And that, that of course, is hypocrisy, right? So the people who have this leftist incoherent rage against the other, right, whoever they demonize, everyone on the right, or basket of deplor deplorables and so on. Well, they know that they have no moral standards. And, and they actually, I mean, this is not all lefties, but this is Saul Alinsky's uh, Rules for Radicals to a T. We have no standards. This, you know, this is why well, you can't corner us with hypocrisy because we've got no consistency, no standards. We don't care. Thank you, devil, for the inspiration for this book. Uh, that's actually quite, uh, quite real. So they know they have no standards, but they want you to think that they have standards. In the same way, the counterfeiter knows that his money is fake, but wants you to believe that it's true. And... This silence that occurs is really, really fascinating, really fascinating because it is when the con is up, right? So if the counterfeiter goes into a store that he's regularly been passing off his counterfeit bills, you know, and the, the guys never figured out who it is and you can't ban everyone. And he's just about to buy whatever he's buying with his counterfeit money. And the shopkeeper looks up and says, oh, this is so great. You know, you're a long-term customer, I value your business. I just got this fantastic foolproof new counterfeit detection machine. Look at it, woo, woo, you wave, you wave your money over there and it'll immediately and 100% tell you whether it's real or not. What do you think? What's the guy gonna think? What's he gonna say? Oh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the shopkeeper or the... Yeah, what's, it, no, what's, the, what's the counterfeiter gonna say? Oh, uh, well... When in the face of this fantastic 100% counterfeit detection machine. Oh, well, isn't he going to be like, just like scrambling to, to just like, you know, like try to preserve himself? Oh, I left my wallet in my car. I'll be back. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Right? The con is up. He don't want to play no more because he can't get away with the con. And that's philosophy. Philosopher is the can philosophy is the counterfeit detection machine. And when you hand back the counterfeiter his own counterfeit money, he's not that pleased. He wants to exchange his fake money for your real money. He doesn't want to get his own fake money back. Mm -hmm. He wants to get rid of it. And that's the self-hatred and the contempt of the leftists. They just want to, want to vent it. They want to get rid of it. They don't want to coming back. And so when people are used to pulling this kind of crap, and I've had so many of these conversations, fortunately not with you today, but so many of these conversations in the show, right, where people come at me hard with nonsense, right? And I'll sort of patiently ask them about it and, you know, they may get more and more frustrated or whatever, but it's, it's healthy for them, of course, right? But there is in the left this feeling of like, oh, this guy's got a counterfeit detection machine. Maybe, maybe we'll go find other victims for our nonsense. 